Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In said video, I will be playing Warbands, which is a game where you just thrive with an army and stuff in medieval times. I done the tutorial, I know how most things work, because I know that it's supposed to be kind of complicated and hard to just start off in a YouTube video. So yeah, I know the most stuff how to do it. Welcome adventurer to Mountain Blade Warband. This is like a series of games. They're making a new one in 2019, which is the current year, I think. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in tra traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose <laughs> that you should not choose to play a female character or or one who is not one of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all the same goals, and in fact, you may have a much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. That would be male. You were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was a parish noble, a traveling merchant, a veteran warrior, probably that, a hunter, a slim nomad, or a thief. Well, that would have been kind of sad to just be a nomad, you know, be a veteran warrior. As child, your family scrabbled out a mere, li <laughs> scrabbled out a mere living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. It was not an easy existence, as you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets with or without a weapon in hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. Spent your life as a page in nobleman's court, craftsman apprentice, craftsman's apprentice, a shop assistant, just three you know, still a shop assistant. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed to a wealthy merchant, picking up trade over the years of working shops and driving caravans. Also, I guess I fed the tutorial and stuff so I know to fight. No. You still make him adept in the art of buying low, selling high, and leave the customer think they, thinking they got the better deal. <laughs> then, as a young adult, life changed, and as always, as you became a squire, I want to be a squire, a trabador, university student, a goods peddler, a smith, a game poacher, or I go back. <sighs> it's gotta be squire. I, 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 yeah. The distinction falls on to you somewhere along the way you become a man and the whole world seemed to change around you. You were named a squire at a noble court to a noble at a court. You practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the travel with deal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warrior story of ruthless power and politics, of betrayals and operations of men who used girl as so as well as valor to achieve their aims. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on this uh, to strike out on your own adventure. What made you what made you take this decision was Personal revenge, laws of the loved ones of no one, no. <laughs> wanderlust, uh, probably wanderlust. You first out of your home, and lust for money and power. It's gotta be one of the only wanderlust. Only you knew exactly, only you know what exactly cost you up your old life and became adventure. You're not even sure when your home became a prison, when the family, when the fam familiar became mundane. But your dreams of wandering. I've taken over your life. Whether you yearn for some faraway place, or merely for the open road and the freedom to travel, you could not, you could no longer bear to stay in the same place. You simply went and never looked back. Well, an adventure went to Disney. Now enter your name and dis distribute uh, your tribute skill and weapon points. You can go. To various elements on the screen and learn how each one will affect your character. Ah, there's little things on the top right. Now, uh, one hearted weapons you may think is you can have a shield. Uh, 
Um, see, you, like, I know that if you like have a lot of things on you, you'll go slower. And I'm not very good at using a horse to hit people with. So I want to do good agility. Wait, what now? Um... Oh my god. What's the Okay. I'd like a back. Oh, I still have ten more points. Um Iron flesh, yeah, add two hit points. Um, power strike, prisoner management. What's that? No, I have leveled the skill um, to maximum number by five. I was thinking, like, take prisoners. <laughs> That's awesome. That's that's really awesome. Yeah, I'll do prisoner management. Enter name here. Or horizons open up there already. Okay. Uh oh okay, but the hair colors have how the light and dark, obviously. Oh, that looks about good. I don't really care about like my age or my skin, beard. I just changed the hair a little bit. <gasps> oh, this is good. I like this. I like that. Oh my god, you can do like all of this stuff. <laughs> Jaw with nose with height, size. The br you can even change the bridge of your nose. You hear about Kurdia? Al or Cavadia, I don't know. A land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land, which holds great dangers and even great opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Kredia kingdoms, you join a caravan to Praven in the kingdom of Sweden. It's it's Sweden now, not Swedia. Raven in the kingdom of Vagers. Tolgan, to Tolga in the Carid Canet. Uh, ship to Sargoth, kingdom of Nords. Ooh, that, that sounds good. Delkala to ship there to the kingdom of Rodox. Run a caravan to Sharaz in the Saranid Sultanate. Um, the Nords sounds good for me. You took a passive to trading with the uh, trading longship, carrying Grufflekins, and the the furthest the furthest star reaches of the north to be bartered for linen and wool. It sailed early in the season, but the master record. The the risk of drifting ice and later winter storms will be justified by arriving ahead of the sea raiders, who by April they sound like Vikings. Sea raiders, yeah. April uh, would be sailing forth from their island layers to ravage Cardia's coasts. It was some relief that when your ship came inside the delta, the delta of the Ville and Bullock rivers and a short while later rode past tidal flats and coastal marshes to the city of Sargoth. Home to sea, home to the sea raiders, distant kinsmen and Nordic lords. A few generations ago, had carved themselves a kingdom in this rich but troubled land. You were exhausted by the time you find the inn in Sargoth, and you fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto this streets which are still deserted all of a sudden you hear that you hear a sound that 
stuns the hairs of your neck on it. The ras of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Oh my. Oh, I got a crossbow. Oh, oh. Oh, there's someone coming to get me. I got you, bud. Ah. I was more of a sword man myself, but okay. Oh, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, are you alright? Well, at least you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure we can do the same for the other fellow. That's one left thief to struggle our to trouble. That's one left thief to struggle our streets at night. Although, heaven knows you won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, says the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinced you've not been followed, comes near to you to speak. Well, it looks like I have to go near to him. Okay, I press triangle to interact. Now let me explain my proposition. The boys had brigands in the hills, driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. Fewer men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside these walls who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particular temp tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. <gasps> the brethren. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from a prominent house out alone after dark at times like these. Well, I don't know. I suppose. I su well, I suppose you were too. You're a stranger in here and. You don't know how bad things have become. He had no such excuse. But he's family, so what do you do? If you if you don't ex if you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either. And I can't have that. I doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my here's my so here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with the blade, and more importantly. You must have a bit of fire in your belly, or you wouldn't be coming to Cairo to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do: get a small. My microphone just went out for a second. I don't know why? Um. They gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? I am interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try to take on the whole gang, so Hanley, the hunter will become the hunted. I want you want to round up a group of of vultures. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work. That's more interesting than in the soil or hauling water. They'll, they'll follow you if you pay, so take this price of 100 dinars and I consider it an advance on your reward. I reckon that you need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir. I'll go collect some men from around the villages. Good, you can find me again in the tavern here in Sargoth after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what we do next. Oh, ah, oh, what's this little map? Who's this? Can I, oh, that's me, Horizon. Oh, you're now viewing the Overland map. I just noticed that I kind of moved a second. Press X on the map to move your party to that location. Enter the selected town or pursue the selected party. Time will pause on the Overland map. If your party is not moving, waiting, or resting. To, to wait anywhere, simply press and hold down circle. Use L1 and R1 to navigate to the buttons below. Oh, the party is... Oh, 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 you can like, speed up time. That's, so, that's actually awesome. I, or did I just accidentally do that? No, I didn't accidentally do it. Oh my god. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, sea Raiders. Ah! Oh, 
I feel like they might have just done something to me because it said they were following Horizon. Oh! <gasps> ah, recruit them for the genius. Take a hostile action. I'm gonna forget it. Uh, leave. Seems pretty simple because I already just now, now I already know how to uh, recruit people. Sargoth. There's a tournament. Oh, join the feast. There's a feast in progress at the lowest hall, but you are not of sufficient status to be invited inside. Perhaps increasing your renown would win you admittance, or you might also try to distinguish yourself at a tournament while the feast is in progress. I don't know what the tournament is. I don't even want to do it yet. Just in case, you know, it's um too long and stuff. And I don't really, uh, you know, to, ooh, visit the tavern. The guy said he would be in the tavern. Is it him? No, he doesn't have the big hit thing. In. But what are you looking at? Oh my god, he's a drunk. <laughs> Excuse me, please send my apologies. I'm not sure. Some sort of animal, clearly. Let us smoke right off your face. Stop, no shooting, no shooting. Okay. Sword! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, battle me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't even need this one. Oh my god. You guys better run. <laughs> oh! Well, I'd say he started it. That entitles you to his sword on first, I suppose. I would think on the house, I dare say. You saved a page and a drove a broken skull. Still, I hope he still has a pulse. It's not good when I establish him at DNA. I'm supposed to have run and kill him. But he's a better aim than me. <laughs> Did I get his stuff now? Oh, I can get take his Nordic sword. Okay, bye. <laughs> I just took his sword. I dropped the rusty sword. Is he up here? No. But, but this is where they said he would be in, in the in the tavern. Oh, I know this is him. Why is he down here now? Let's see. Splendid work! You've hired enough men to take to take on the bandits. Now travelers and Sargoth have told us that there's a small group of robbers living on the outside of town. Oh, yeah. I suspect they are all for the same bad and the will took my brother put them down and defeat them and make them disclose their location of their lair. Very well. I will hope for bandits. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here because I don't want it to be super long. Uh hope you enjoy uh leave a like, subscribe. Um yeah. See you later. Bye-bye.